Shalom, dear family. Brother Nelda T. Amon, the Hebrew. All right, wanted to welcome you all to the Holy Armor Ministry, home gym, where we not only work out our bodies, but we work out our minds and our soul. And the scripture tells us, brother. Shalom, dear family. Welcome back to Holy Armor Works, where we work out not only the body, but the mind and the soul. I can't wait to get into today's training. This is session number two, the beginning or beginner series workout. And today we're going to focus on back. So I'm going to be doing some, uh, some pulls and uh, basically have the bench set up. I'll be doing some lat pull downs and uh, be doing some shrugs and just really taking our time uh, in getting that, uh, basically honing in on the actual uh, movement itself and really critiquing and trying to uh, master our pulls and our holds as well as our breathing. So as they always say, slow and steady wins the race. Without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it, brothers and sisters, by doing some stretching. We all wanna stretch out. I pulled out my, my Moses stick. I got this from a dearly beloved sister, and this is really good because what I'm gonna do, let me move this over. Um, just for an example, I'm going to start out this particular workout by doing abs, and I'm gonna do 20 uh, torso, I guess you're gonna, I, I would name it just twist. So I'm keeping my head straight and I'm going, Oh, my back is back. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's cracking. Five, six, it's cracking. Seven, I feel good. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, woo! And I'll just do this here too, to get the blood moving and circulating. So it's as if I'm doing some uh, shoulder presses with my molded stick. Uh, I get everything loosened up in there. And today with these pulls, you're gonna see me on the bench and have the bench there, I'll be set back this way, leaning over, and I'm pulling with my back. Down, pulling. So we're going to focus on our breathing and, uh, and our holding. And so what that's going to do is give us a lot of good strength there. Make sure you can, I can see me in the actual frame there. Oh, pardon me. This is just a tad. Maybe I'll put it down a little bit so you can kind of see where I get ready to do the sit-ups now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on doing a hundred bicycles. All right. We're going to get this, get this workout going. So as I mentioned, I am excited about getting it in because this is where we pay ourselves, brothers and sisters, and you get out of it what you put into it. So don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. And it is our true hopes and desires that by bringing forth workout videos like this with Holy Armor Works, that it not only uh, helps you to look and feel better, but overall do better because we promote uh, uh, health is wealth and, and wellness fitness. So that's what we want to promote coming from a biblical stance where the scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians 6 and verses 20 that we are to glor glorify the Most High in our bodies. So you, you're not your own, but you belong to the Most High. And then it tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23 that the Most High sanctify your whole mind, body, and soul, okay, that you might be blameless until the day of the coming of your shy. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get down here and hit these 100 bicycles. I'm going to hit play. And to show the support, you can like, subscribe, share, um, as well as, you know, bump, set apart truth music, your dear Akam of Faith, Elder T. Heyman. In this particular playlist, I'm playing again, uh, Elder T. Heyman, get it out the book, all right? Playing Cleaving to You, Future, and My Youngest Daughter, Rhea. Let's go. Here we go. 
If you're comfortable doing that, but you have to go where your comfort level is. Uh, so slow and steady. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's switch over to the left side now. And you can even put your one. One of your hands on the top of your head here. And I'm going down, I'm going to the left side now. Oh, one, I feel that stretch. Two, back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I feel it. Put the weight down. Go ahead and make sure, I want to make sure that I'm in the frame. So, I think that was kind of cutting me out of the frame. I'm going to lift it up a little bit here. There we go. Now, again, so you kind of see how my hands are over the bar, or my Moses stick, I would call this. And, keeping my head straight, and I'm going, starting from uh, left to right. I'm doing 20 in totality. All right? One, one. 10, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. All right. So we're going to do some pressures here. But just this is bark. I mean, this little wood stick probably weighs about only five pounds. So not much at all. And I'm going to get my stance straight and I'm going straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, out like this. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Back up, twist it. Back up, twist it. Alright. You know, when you're ready to do the rows, 
I'm going to bend over here. I'm going to do it on the bench though. I'm just going to pull it. All right? Now, who can remember one of the most important things uh, before and after working out? Put that down in the comments, okay? Uh, right now. And even at the very end of the video, I'm going to make sure to mention that the most important thing that we all should do, that we learn, that we're supposed to do before working out and at the end of our workout. What must we do? Or what should we do? A good practice. I told it in the beginner uh, workout uh, series session number one. Okay? So these are the principles that we want to make sure that we do. And uh, I'll leave it at that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get down here and do my next 100 bikes. I want to make sure that when I'm down the ground that you can see me doing the bicycle. So let me go ahead and re-angle this here a little bit so you can there we go. Don't say no. All right, here we go. On three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 100. Whoa! Back up. Back up on my feet. All right. And make sure this is lifted up where we can see it set right here. And now we're going to go ahead and hit those laterals to the side again. Let's scoot this back here. Make sure this is safe on there. Good. Okay. Yep. That looks good. So. I'm going to start here. I'll start with the right the other time. So I'll start with the left this time. Right here, top of the head. Legs a little past shoulder width. Feet slightly pointing outwards. Stand straight upwards. And we're going to just bend over to the side. Oh, back up there. One. And you could go that way, but still, you just want to go straight back up to where you're standing. Straight. Down. Try to the ground. Two. Three. Four, five, six, I feel it, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch to the, the right side, and let's go ahead and get it in. On three, one, two, deep breaths, and three, go. One, let's go over here this way, you can see me more. Two, three. Four, oh, five, feel the love illustration. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right. Very important that we stay hydrated. See my favorite word I got there. All right, let's go ahead and get a sip of water. No more than two minutes of rest, all right? We get in the beginner series. And make sure that you're pacing yourself, not going too fast. So when you're just beginning, understand we got to go through the, the growing pains that will feel, will feel tightness, you know what I'm saying? After your first few days. And uh, it's uncomfortable at times, but you want to, you know, it's the thing that I asked uh, a minute or two ago before I did that last set. What's the most important thing that we should do before and after our, our workout routine? It feels good to work out, brothers and sisters. The benefits of working out really helps you to relieve, uh, or you know, relieves you from stress. Good for your body, helps you to to clear your mind, helps you spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And uh, ultimately, brothers and sisters, the end result is that not only do you feel better. 
but you look better, okay? And uh, you're taking care of the temple, you know what I'm saying, that the Most High has blessed you with. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to, now I'm going into set three, and then we're going to go ahead and start going into the workout as far as the back, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and take my straight bar, or what I've called the Moses stick here, put it over my shoulders, on my back, as you see there, right? Hands stretched out. And now my shoulders are up. I'm upright. And I'll just tend towards the back this right now, too, because I tend to the front. And remember, one and one. So when you go to both sides, that's just one. And you want to twist it to as far as you can to get a good twist. So like this time, I started left to right in the other one. This time, I'm going to go right to left. One. Two, the scratch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep your head straight. Ten. I'm gonna turn around. Next ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, all right? And what's so good about that is it's a, it's a natural movement. And again, we're gonna go ahead and do some presses. Eight, nine, 10. Uh, back over. over. All right. Loosen everything up. <clears throat> okay. Now, going to the last. The last one. I think I'm going to go ahead and get these now. Uh, Ten to the right this time. Here we go. One. Left hand on top of my head. Go down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And you can put the weight which is comfortable for you to start out with. Okay, remember we're starting out. I can probably do a lot more weight than this, but I tell you, that was six seconds. And the next day, I'm going to feel all this being tight from these twists and stuff. But it helps to build up stamina and it helps to bust up the fat. All right, that was six. Down to the ground. Seven, as far as you can stretch. Eight. Nine. Ten. Get a good stretch there. Switch to the left side. Now, I'm going down to the ground from right to left now. Back to the top. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's another tip. Brothers and sisters, you can, after you get out of the series or the beginning of your workouts to wear your abs are burning and you're feeling a lot of discomfort, all right? Might be a little bit painful, whatever the case is. You can do abs every day, okay? You can do it every day. Do it in the daytime, do it in the evening, and it helps to really strengthen up because you want to tighten your abs up when you're doing back. You want to make this core tight. You don't want it to be flabby and loose. You want it to be tight on the side and you want to strengthen the, uh, the obliques on the side and uh, it helps to strengthen your back and everything too. All right, so it's important that you do that. Now, let me go ahead and readjust the camera so that we can see the last uh, bicycles, all right? Let's push it. There we go. Uh, on three, one, Remember to make sure you keep pedaling. Going to the right and to the left. 
One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 100. Back on the feet. All right. A couple more stretches here. Put this to the top here. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're taking the time right here. We get our breather in. Move the. Pull my towel out the way. Woo. All right, I'm starting to sweat now. So I can tell that right there, brothers and sisters, more or less is like my warm up. And it's important that you warm up. Not just go right into it and blast through it. Very important. All right. So now these are old school. How many of you remember these? Uh, I'm going to do a couple of these, see if I can do some of these. Might look kind of funny on there, but. Let's do like maybe 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to 20, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go to 25. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Good stretch now. Uh, good stretch. Uh, woo! Okay, get, get that blood circulating and flowing. You gotta do it. All right. Get a sip of the water. And while I'm doing this, taking my breather, uh, move this chair up the way here. And get this up. Uh, the next thing right here. I'm going to move the bench over here until we get ready to use it. So I think that I want to start with, first and foremost, brothers and sisters, is some shrubs, right? So it's important here. As you can see here, I'm going to kind of stretch here for delt. Stretching it out. And you're ready to put some tension on it. But again, it's the beginner series. So the main thing that we want to focus in and master is getting our breathing and our technique down. So we can get that down. And remember the fundamental principle, which I want to take at the very end of this. But we do that at the beginning and at the end of our workout. It helps. It lessens the risk of injury. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to injure ourselves. All right, so stretch it down. The left one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, uh. And this is how it feels. That feels really good. All right, so now, go ahead if you got some gloves. Get you some gloves on. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit these two up here. So our first one, it's kind of warming up and put one plate on. And uh, we slow it up. The whole idea with the shrugs. Brothers and sisters is uh to really uh, get those straps up there. Kind of hold, I'll hold the bar like this. You know, sometimes you can hold it this way too, but that, a little bit more tougher. And you stand straight, straight like this. You kind of see I'm straight, my, my chin's this way. Upwards, head up, feet, shoulder width, toes pointing out. Grab the bar, and you lift it. You're just holding it. Drop it. Now sometimes you can just go straight up. Sometimes you can go 
up, back, drop. And sometimes you can just go straight up. Try to pull your, pull your traps up to your ear, all right? Pardon me there. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get it. We're going for 20. We're going for 10 on each side. series you want to give yourself as you're doing your sets right you want them to be at least reps of 10 okay be able to do 10 to 12 okay three sets of 10 to 12 if you can do three sets of 10 to 12 then you're able to move up a little bit more when you're speaking of strength training and, and getting endurance but as we're just starting out what we're doing is you know what I'm saying we're testing our body seeing what our limits are uh, you know what I'm saying? Very important that we uh, keep track uh, of, of our gains and our progress. You know what I'm saying? Kind of note to yourself how you felt during that first week. Because this is the area, if you can get this down, this is going to help you throughout your, your training program. Okay? And, and prayerfully, you know, making the transition to a healthy lifestyle, which includes exercise. And exercise is something that is done and repetition and activity which is which increases and promotes health that's what exercise is all right so let's go ahead and get into now uh, my second set and i see i put two plates on so i'm gonna see like 12 225 maybe 10 times all right maybe 20 10 on each shot maybe okay but at least 10 that's what we want to go for 10. if we can't do 10 in the beginning stage all right, our beginning uh, workout series, then we need to lower it to where we can get 10. So here we go. Overhand, underhand. Right hand, overhand. Right hand, over. Left hand, under. Sit straight up. Pulling with the trap. You're shrugging it. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, right, down, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Woo. And actually, when you get up to a little bit of heavier weight, you actually begin to feel it pulling on the joints and stuff, too. All right, take a sip of water, get right back to it. Because I said 20. Now, I'm going left hand over top, right hand under. On three. And my grip is shoulder width, alright? Just on the outside of my thigh. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. When you're doing this, the bar is on your thigh. And you're just letting it slide up and down on your thigh. Or you're controlling, you're just pulling up. You're pulling up with your back and your shoulders. You're trying to lift those traps, your shoulders up to your ears. All right? Now, let's go ahead and go to, uh, I'll say one more plate. Got one more plate on there. Woo! It's kind of pushing me right here. All right? Now this. I'm going to put the clamps on. And I haven't, I haven't struggled with this one in a long time. 
And uh, I'm able to show this particular weight, which I'm getting ready to attempt to do. Now I'm going to do it with the most out of my side. Uh, courtesy of our, my dearly beloved brother in the faith, Aaron, I'm able to go ahead and now push up to this uh, 315. So we're going to go ahead and show 315. All right? And so it's important that your stance is that the weight is evenly balanced and that your stance is good. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure. And see, you can see me all the way over there, right? Make sure you can see my feet and everything. Stand down just a little bit. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I want to make sure that stance is real good. Uh, let me be able to see my feet too. Uh, 315. Let's go for 10. Right hand over, left under. Pull it up. One, up, two, and three. Let's go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let me sit down for a second. That one right there, dear family. The most, it tried to get out of my grip. It tried to bust out my hand. 315 was trying to run away for sure. Oh, sometimes people are doing shrugs, right? I even feel that one. I feel that one in the dome right there. That was a lot of pressure pulling that up. Uh. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna go left, over, and right under this one. That was a tough one right there. I felt that one. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, left over. Right under. Oh, we. Go, team. One, two, three. Go! Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like my fingers. Fingers are. <laughs> if I can't see that. They're crushed from that weight. All right. That's it with the with the shrug. Now, now I'm gonna transition to doing barbell rows. All right. So I'm gonna take this weight on, bring it all the way down. So we can get to our barbell rows now. And by the way, while I'm doing this, this is my breathing. All right. Woo. Okay. Oh, idea of this 
is I'm going to be sitting this way, my back on the bench, and you're going to see me pull the bar up. All right? Here we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring the weight down. Ooh. I should go like that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put it down here. All right. Uh, now, I gotta pull this up. Here we go. Get him. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll push the angle of the camera for the next set. Depending on how this one goes. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. And, oh, oh. So now I'm squeezing the bench with my thighs. Back is flat, chin is on. It's tough and holding myself in. Now just pull it. One, two, one. Pull up to the bench. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. And hell. One, two, nine. One, two, ten. That's good. Oh. And the man, since I did that, I can tell you. I can feel that for sure. Woo. I can certainly feel that. Now, let me bring the uh, the camera to this angle over here. Let me see here. A second. If we look at it this way here, uh, so you can kind of get a different angle of how I'm pulling it up. Okay. So let me scoot it back a little bit here. Still should be able to see. Look it out the way. You see that? Yeah. So now, put a little bit more weight on. Remember, we're, 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 this is the beginning series, so we're trying to figure out and fine tune our workout regimen. You know? We don't want to overload ourselves, overdo it. We just want to get the technique and the form down. The pull and the hold, the breathing, everything. Right? Building muscle and building strength is all, it's all about contracting and expanding and about tension and resistance. So, step 35 on here. Let me see how it looks here in the camera. Yeah, okay, that looks all right. Let's go back a little bit. And um, again, when I grab the bar, brothers and sisters, I'm grabbing about shoulder width. All right, I grab the right hand side, I grab the left hand side, pull up. My thighs, if you can see my thighs, around this bench, I'm locking it in. And I'm going to pull this up. I can either look forward or look down, holding my chin right here. And I'm going to pull. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. Oh. One, two, ten. Let's head down. Oh, not bad. So it kind of gives you an idea of what the angle looks like there. I'm going to go up here to 45 now. Now we're going to go to one plate. All right, that's what this weight is equivalent to. Put some more weight on. And I think we'll do a few sets with this weight right here. All right. Especially if you're able to, if you're able to, to hold that weight like that, when you pull it and then you're able to hold, those are, it's like, it's like doing two. The, the one, the one rep is equivalent to two reps because you're like, you're pulling it slow and you're holding it. And there's no swinging, no jerking. So you don't have momentum. Momentum, you're fighting against gravity. And so that actually works in your favor in strengthening and defining the back. Because you want to define that back there. Right? And that's why we all going to get those good stretches in there and get a good range. I'm going to take a sip of water and I'll get to this next set.
All right. Woo. All right, on 10. Eight. Uh, seven. Six. Five. Three. Deep breath. Two. And one. Let's go. Let's get that heart rate up here. Uh, uh, that's a little bit heavy for sure. All right. Hold it nice and even. And we're going to pull it. One, two, three. I can see I begin to strain. So, like when I, if it wasn't like a beginner series, like if I was really pumped up and my back was stronger than it is now, I probably would start with that weight right there. But you see, I work my way up by doing, again, it's not about impressing anyone. We certainly don't want to hurt ourselves. But taking our times, getting that form and technique and that pull right, slow and steady wins the race. Because, uh, the best part of the workout it's when you're finished. You're able to walk away and you feel, you know, you feel your body as you stretched. The muscles have, have been, because uh, you're breaking your muscles down, right? So you feel good, but also you need that recovery time. And in your recovery, you don't want to hurt yourself and break yourself, your muscles down so bad to where you're not able to recover. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a you know, one to two days, it typically takes. So we're going to talk about that too, huh? Uh, how long does it take for recovery? So it really depends on how vigorous your exercise routine is, all right? So I'm gonna do one more just for extra credit. And what I typically do, those are the wide ones, shoulder width. Then I can also come in closer and do some pulls by like this and I, it reverse pulls and that works your inner back. So I'm gonna do this maybe, maybe three. I think I just maybe do, I'll maybe do, let's see if I can do three. I mean three sets. I might just do one because I wanted to do some lateral pull downs and I wanted to do some, some rolls over here on this machine here too. So let's see what we got. Uh, pull it. Uh, hold it. Okay. Uh, keep the back. I mean your chest on the bench and just pull up. What you want? Pull it. Right. Two, two. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, four. Uh, one, two, five. Uh, one, two, six. Uh, one, two, seven. Uh, oh my goodness. One, two, eight. That's it. Put it down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. I'm melting away over here. You see you sliding. The... Woo! That is truly, I feel it in the back. So that was eight. I wasn't able to do 10. So what that means is I need to lighten the weight a little bit. So let me take off the 10. Remember I said, you can't do three sets of 10. That means it's time to lower it. So here's a prime example sharing in my workout. And if you come across this too in the beginning series, just lower it a little bit. All right? It's better to, to finish uh, without injuring yourself as opposed to pulling and jerking or twisting something and then paying for it later, all right? So again, recovery. In our recovery stage, we want to recover. We want our recovery to be optimal too. We're trying to get the maximum efficiency, maximum results. So, I go down to 35. Now I feel it in my back, for sure. All right, now. Let me put that on there. All right, let's go. We're going in a close grip. You kind of see this leg here, wrapped around the bench here, and my right leg over here, you can see, wrapped around the bench. My chest is over, my head is kind of hanging over, and I'm hugging the back of this bench with my chin once I grab it. All right, close the grip. Here we go. On three. One, 
two, three. Watch it, watch it back. Watch it, two. Watch it, three. Watch it, four. Can you get your arm open? Watch it, five. Three. Watch it, six. Uh. Watch it, seven. Uh. Watch it, eight. It's burning. Uh. Watch it, nine. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Watch it, ten. Woo! Oh. Oh, all right, okay, just about there, family. Oh my goodness, so I can tell you this is somewhat challenging for me, but still in the beginning of the I was able to pull up 10, but that's good. I need to get some clean next week. Oh. Woo, okay, shirt starting to leak, I'm sweating now. Crack the second thing of water. We're gonna get to it. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, some pulls with the with the rope for our, for our back, our upper back. But let me go ahead and hit this last one. I'm really on think, I'm really thinking about even going down a little bit lighter because it gets heavier as you go and your body gets worn out, but it's mind over matter. Let's do this for the most high, come on. Let's do this for our families, you know what I'm saying? Looking better, feeling better, all right? Exercising better, living better. Do it for our wives, the, the husbands, okay? Our sisters out there who are married, doing it for for your husbands, you know what I'm saying? Make it, doing it for the most high, for longevity, long life. All right, huh. let's go. The beat is slapping too. We bumping and pumping right now. Uh, uh, here we go. Grip it. On three. Breathe it. One, two, three. Breathe out. One. Back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come on, hold it. Five, six, six. Oh, woo! We did it, Iron. We got that one done. Now, I think, let me see, let me, let me change the, the angle here. If we were to go up like this, you kind of see, I'm gonna pull the rope here. Let me move this bench out the way. Put the weight, get the weight out the way. So, yeah. Here we go. There uh, we go. And let's start with uh, I'll start with four, to be honest. Let's see how this goes from 90 to 15. All right, get on that side. on this side. Put uh, that Grab the rope. The chain. And the whole idea of this here is you want to pull this. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, yeah, that ain't going. <laughs> oh, I tried to pull that right there. Then it's sticking. Let me go lighter. That wasn't going at all. That didn't. That barely moved. And it could be the, the machine. A little bit of tension on the machine to make you making it uh the friction of the slider to make it hard to pull. So I want to do this should be a little lighter for me. Here we go. Oh, that's the uh, a lot better. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one. And then I'm gonna move it back over here so you guys can kind of see the angle from this way, all right? Let's go back over to this side of the gym. And uh, set it right here. Okay. There we go. Check it out now. I'm gonna make sure that I'm able to see it, yeah? So I'm pulling it like that. Woo! Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Woo! That's this. We'll do one more right there. Let's see if we get one more in. There we go. Okay. I'll have to hurry this up here. We only got about five more minutes. Woo! Set the water and get right into it. For the third round, then switch to the next exercise. Alright. Here we go. One. Two. Let's get it. Three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's go ahead and take this off. Transition to the next one. Alright, 
Now it's 10. We got 10 more to do. Put it that way. Let's see what my time looking like. Yep. Good time. One second. Alright, this is the last one here. I'm glad I went in there seeing that the skews that I had uh, orange juice all over my beard there. Alright, I should say my mustache, excuse me. Alright, so now I'm going to do the next 10. And then we're going to do the, the rules. Okay, there we go. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Like they wouldn't. 
Y'all should come and get it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just about to go ahead and close this thing out for the beginning series. Session two. Glass and back. number two back or blasting our back so as I mentioned from the very beginning I posed the question what's one of the most important things that we can do when when working out family okay at the beginning and at the end of each workout we want to make sure that we this thing super slow that, uh, that we make sure that we put that into our workout and incorporate it every time well the answer is if you got it right if you said stretching Give yourself a round of applause. Thanks for your participation. You know what I'm saying? So now what we're gonna do about the end. We're gonna stretch it out. Cause right after this, I'm gonna go shower, get myself ready for the prayer meeting. Every Monday, Father Willie, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? You can join into the Elder T on YouTube. And uh, I'm sending prayers up to the household of faith. All right, to Israel and those that's a journey with us. So let's go ahead and get our face out and put all the stuff up. Real quick, real quick. Uh, Nobody really have too much to put up because the way that I did it. Find the wall, right? I'm gonna angle it over this way a little bit here. You're gonna see me there. Then, go against the wall. Yeah, that's the back up. Ah! Ah! About 30 seconds or so. Loosen everything back up. Oh! Push that we did. Uh, the wings are there, push that. Of course, you can slow down. Oh, that's that touches your back, and your hands, and everything. 
Oh my goodness. Watch more. Ah. Woo. All right, dear family. It's been a wonderful power hour for me. I pray it's been as enjoyable and likable for you as it was for me. I hope that I catch you on the next session. And uh, if this has been encouraging and inspirational to you, consider liking, sharing, as well as supporting by streaming uh, Elder T. Heyman on Spotify or downloading the music or purchasing or making donations to making this program readily accessible to others who could also help inspire. And where we believe in holy armor works. We work not only the body, but the mind and soul, promoting health as wealth. It's all about glorifying the most high in your body. With that being said, I want to say thank you for your participation and attendance. Shalom. Salah, armor up.